In this video, we're going to review the cell cortex as well as the cytoskeleton, but focusing more on the cell cortex because that's what this video is intended to review. So let's talk about just a general cell and introduce some of the ideas that we'll be coming back to a little bit later in the course, which is that the cytoskeleton is made up of three primary components. There are microtubules, which as they sound are hollow tubes, and microtubules are typically used for intracellular transport. Um, that just means that when things need to be shipped around inside the cell, most notably uh, proteins, those things are being moved along microtubules. The second component of the cytoskeleton are microfilaments. And microfilaments exist uh, throughout the cell. This is actin tubes. And microfilaments are typically used for cell movement when cells crawl. And finally, we have intermediate filaments, and intermediate filaments basically make up the entirety of the middle of the cell. And intermediate filaments are structural. They're giving the cell its overall support. So again, to review very, very quickly, we've got microtubules for shipping cargo around inside a cell, microfilaments for allowing cells to crawl and move and stick to surfaces, and intermediate filaments to provide structural support for the cell. That makes up the cytoskeleton. Each of those have their own unique function and their own unique purpose. The cell cortex is different and distinct from any of those three components. It is sometimes made of actin in some cell types, and sometimes it's made of spectrin, uh, as we said in the lecture, in other cell types. But the actual individual subunits of the cell cortex aren't as important today as is its function. The cell cortex is a meshwork of protein that lies directly under the cell membrane, as I'm representing here. And again, it's protein, so this is structural support. But unlike intermediate filaments, the entirety of the underlying surface of the membrane is anchored to this protein cage of the cell cortex. So if you kind of use your mind's eye, what I have on the screen right now is like a ball. The cell is a spherically shaped, and it's as though we cut that ball in the middle. It's like, a, imagine a tennis ball, and we just slice it in half, and we're looking inside the center. If we were to kind of peel away the cell, I'm not very good at drawing in three dimensions, but if you imagine that we kind of have that spherical shape of the cell, right? So it's coming out at us in the, in, in, uh, from the screen, and now imagine we've cut that cell in half again, and we've scooped out everything from inside the cell. We're just basically looking at the empty half shell of the cell membrane. When we do that, the cell cortex would be an entire mesh along that bottom or that back of the cell. So the membrane is draped over the cell cortex. The cell cortex is the structural scaffolding that holds the membrane up. I don't want to repeat myself from the main video lecture, but for any of you that have kind of seen one of those temporary structures or just think about a tent, you can think of the membrane as the fabric, the nylon of the tent. And what would that nylon do if you didn't have structural supports for your tent? It would collapse. It would be a, basically a puddle of nylon on the floor. Well, the cell membrane has the viscosity of olive oil. And like olive oil, if it didn't have protein support, it would also puddle. So just like tents need poles and rods to hold the tent up, the membrane needs structural support or scaffolding to hold its shape. And that structural support or scaffolding is the cell cortex. Now, if we were to zoom in on one region here and just get a real close up. So here's the cell membrane, it's the lipid bilayer. And here's the spectrin mesh that lies under it. The membrane is literally anchored to the cell cortex just as a tent is anchored to the rods, to the poles, because transmembrane proteins exist that interact with the cell cortex components in the cell cortex. So these are proteins, transmembrane proteins that are directly and physically interacting with the cell cortex proteins, but those proteins are also transmembrane. So they're going through the membrane entirely anchoring or connecting the cell membrane to the cell cortex. So in summary, we've got the cytoskeleton made up of three different components, microtubules for moving things around in the cell, 
microfilaments for the cell moving around itself, and intermediate filaments to provide overall structural support for the interior of the cell. But superseding all of that, we have a protein cage that we call the cell cortex that exists only on the outer limits of the cell. And then we drape this olive oil-like lipid bilayer over that protein cage of the cell cortex, giving the cell stability, giving the cell shape, and giving the cell the ability to not collapse under its own pressure.